Um, well, I think Franco hit the nail on the head on Monday when he was talking to us about just sticking to the process, just sticking to what we're doing, um, taking each game as it comes. And you know, it was a, it was a massive game at home in Europe in front of that in front of the home fans. So it was it was pretty easy for, for us as a squad to get up for. Um, there was no real complacency in the fact that we'd already qualified. It was no come on, we want to go four from four here and really kick on and give ourselves the best opportunity to finish in the top two, three in the group. I think the messages we got from the coaching staff were exactly um, how they performed. You know, they were big, they were direct. They tried to slow the game down and tried to make it just about set piece, which I think that happens. You know, we I think we put a bit of a hex on ourselves with the week before saying we didn't make any handling errors and then Friday night, I don't know, probably it could be up there with the most, <laughs> most of had all season. Um, which gave them that platform for set piece and to slow the game down. So I think that was from us, from us, our point of view, it was very frustrating. Um, and we didn't really put the performance out there that we knew we could. And it was a bit, yeah, for us it was disappointing that we didn't come away, not just with the win, but with the performance itself. We put a big emphasis on it last week as well as a full pack, um, that we really wanted to you know, put a marker down that we can be a, we can be a team that mauls, mauls other sides off the pitch. And, I think if you look at the mole meters, it was you know up near 100 mole meters for the game, which is certainly some of the highest I've ever seen to the been here. So I think that point of view was was yeah promising and, and it was rewarding from us as a forward pack having put that work in. And it's Warriors who have scored two tries to Bats one, Matt Fagerson and Sionu Vailanu, but the response coming from Chris Kluter. So very finely poised between Glasgow Warriors and Bath at halftime. Yeah, I think that's that's a massive positive um, for us as a squad how we've grown over this over this block of games. Um, we had, as Kyle touched on, it did feel did feel like a loss in the changing rooms, and we had to be reminded that it wasn't kind of thing. That sounds stupid, but Franco had to emphasise the point that we hadn't lost and we're still eight eight games under, unbeaten now, um, and we roll on. But yeah, as we said, it's it's a sign for us that we've gone four games in Europe unbeaten and we're not happy with where we finished. Um, so yeah, it's it's good signs. As a group, I felt we had more in us, and we could have we should have gone four from four. We should have got you know maybe a couple of another bonus points here, not just win, but came away with five points. Um, so I think yeah, I think it's great, but yeah, definitely certainly more to come, and hopefully we can go quite far in this European competition. The big thing for us is physicality this week. We need to win those collisions and, and be better in defence. You know, we didn't concede any line breaks, but we certainly didn't impose ourselves against Bath. And that's one area I think if you want to get on top of the Dragons, that's what we need to do. We just need to be more physical and, and more demanded of ourselves in the contact area. And then when we get when we get the chances, we just we put them away, whether that be as a forward unit with the malls or the backs doing what the backs do so well. Duncan Weir. It goes wide. It was so close. The crowd thought it was good. And it ends up as a draw. Glasgow Warriors 19, Bath Rugby 19.